All right, so we're going to start with our footwork settings and two red springs. We're going to work on some mobility exercises and uh, see where we get. So let's start laying on your back with your heels up onto the bar and make sure the headrest is all the way down. Once your heels are on the bar, just let your feet go wide apart. Let your knees drop a little bit side to side. Obviously you can allow the pelvis to rotate, but don't fall off the reformer. So as you rotate a little side to side, just getting your hips, your lower back kind of moving a little bit. And then we're gonna come back to the center, bring the legs to parallel, round your pelvis under and roll your hips up, opening across the front of the hips. Feel like you're pressing your pubic bone up. You're trying to push up a little further from the glutes and the pelvis, and then keep reaching through the knees as you roll back down. You're trying to elongate through the lower back and then return back to neutral. Do that a couple times, tipping towards the belly button, rolling up, opening across the front of the hips. Inhale at the top, see if you can shorten ribs to hips a little bit more, and then roll back down. Twice more, rolling up, open across the front of the hips at the top. You wanna let the pelvis rotate a little. You can to try to just feel, again, that rotation through the pelvis, a little bit of movement through the lower back and then roll down one last time. Feeling like the carriage is staying more or less still as you roll up and let the pelvis rotate a little in each direction at the top. Little rotation, little rotation. And then roll all the way back down. Good, from here we're gonna take and put the feet in the straps right away. So you can grab your straps, put both feet in the loops. Press your legs out on the diagonal and find your connection of your torso. Deep crease in the front of the hips, move your pelvis towards neutral as your legs come up towards the ceiling. Separate them and go down and around in a big parallel leg circle. We're gonna be working on some mobility through the torso, through the lower body especially, and flexibility today. And circling around as your legs go down, see if you can soften your sternum with your exhale so that the ribs don't pop up towards the ceiling as the legs circle around. Reverse the direction, circling around, staying in parallel so the range of motion won't be enormous. Bit wider than the reformer. And your kneecaps are facing the wall behind you as the legs open. Good, one more time. Push your legs down on the diagonal and go into your bend and stretch. So bend your legs in in parallel, flex through the feet and then try to roll into your point. So you're pulling the toes back, then the ankles, then flexing the knees and the hips. Then you're pushing out through the ball of the foot and then through the toes. So you're just trying to get a little bit more movement going through the feet instead of it being just a movement at the ankle, you're trying to move as many of those joints of the feet as you can. Take your legs a little bit apart so they're about six bones distance apart and continue so that each leg is working independently. Trying to find a little more movement through the feet, the toes. Sometimes I have you stop exactly where you can keep neutral. Today, I want you to think of creasing in the front of the hips. At the front of the hips, you might even put your fingers and feel like your fingers would be reaching towards the foot bar direction as your legs bend in. And you can go past tabletop or 90 degrees if that's helpful to you. Feels good. Just try not to let the whole pelvis curl up. Depends on your hamstring flexibility, your hip flexor flexibility. Good, one more time. And then reach the legs back out on the diagonal. We're gonna do parallel stag, which I call walking on the ceiling. So one leg is straightening as the other is bending. It's a very small range of motion, meaning don't bend the leg too much or you won't be able to move. 
So one ankle slides up the other leg as the other leg lifts. One is doing bend and stretch, one is doing lift and lower. The way that I think people get a little out of sorts on this is by bending the leg a lot. So think of like you're just trying to go halfway between your ankle and your knee. The leg bends so the heel slides about halfway towards the knees, maybe three quarters of the way, but still push down into the straps, come down each time. If that's going well, then you can feel how you might move through your toes and your feet. If you're still working on the coordination of that movement, then don't worry about the toes, the ankles and the feet. Moving nice and smooth, it's a parallel stag. So Grace, see if you push down onto the diagonal. So there's a moment where both legs are reaching out over the foot bar and both legs are straight before the other leg bends or else you just end up bending, which there's nothing wrong with that. It's just different. Down, bend one leg, press to the start. Bend one leg, press to the start. Gradually start to change this until you're turned out and you're doing a full uh, turned out stag. So start to turn your legs out, start to take the leg away from the midline. One leg reaches away from the other, both legs reach back through the center. Trying to move through the feet and the ankles keeping the pelvis in the middle as you go from one side to the other. Trying to feel how things wanna rotate. You're trying to keep everything in the center. Bring both legs back to the middle each time. There's a split second where both legs are straight and in the center before the other leg bends. And four more. And last one, keep the legs turned out over the foot bar and turned out leg circles as big as you can keep the stability. So deep creases in the front of the hips as the legs go up, out and around. And then reverse about four in the other direction. Try to stay turned out, connecting to the back of the legs. Yeah, nice. And then bring the legs back to parallel. We're gonna go into our um, uh, short spine. So if you have your head rest up, make sure it's down. You're welcome to do the prep instead. I'll go through the prep first. If you already know short spine, you're welcome to go right into it. So with the prep, I'd rotate to parallel, hinge at the hips, feel like the back of the pelvis is dropping down as I reach up through the legs, rotate the legs turned out, pull the heels towards the tail, and then press back out. One more time with the prep, hinge at the hips, feel the sacrum staying down, take a breath, rotate turned out, pull the heels towards the tail, press out on the diagonal, and then the full, rotate to parallel, hinge at the hips, roll up through the spine, pressing the legs up into the straps, rotate turned out, pull the heels towards the tail, Roll down away from the heels, lengthening through the back of the legs, get the whole pelvis down before you press back out. On your own timing, just do two more, rolling up at the top. You're trying to keep the carriage against the stopper while you bend the legs and while you roll down. When you can't roll down any further and you engage the back of the legs and press back out. One last time on your own timing, turning out, Imagining doing this without the straps that you would have to work a little harder through the abdominals to get up. And that's what we're going for eventually. So then take the straps and slide the strap up to your knees. And reach the legs out into the straps on the diagonal and then bend them in and just feel that resistance. And then start to take the legs into a circular motion. So you bend in towards your chest, you push out and away. Bend in, straighten the legs towards the corner of the foot bar to circle around. Bend in, circle. Bend in, 
circle around, reverse the direction, press out, circle around. Should feel like a different abdominal connection that you need to generate in order to feel stable. And should feel like a nice mobilization for the hip joints. One more moment here. And then press the legs out to straight. Keep them straight, but a little bit apart. Lift the legs up towards the ceiling. And then keep the thighs where they are and bend your legs and straighten your legs a couple times. So you're leaving your thighs still in space. You're going to where your legs are fully straightened. At the top, if you point, it's a little easier. If you flex, it's a little more flexibility required. You decide. Just opening up the back of the legs. Feel like the sit bones going down as you reach the legs up. And then keep that leg uh, straight position up to the ceiling and a few smallish circles up to the ceiling. So you're trying to keep the knees straight and go in a range that you can keep the knees straight. So your legs might be down on the diagonal a little lower than mine are. They might be closer to your chest than mine are. You're totally welcome to work within the range you can Manage to keep the knees straight. Reverse, pushing through the back of the leg, push through the back of the leg. So we're working in a fully lengthened hamstring. So it's a bit different feeling with the strap a little higher on the legs. And one last time. And then you're gonna reach the legs up to the ceiling, put all the weight in one leg and push the leg down. Bring the leg back up, push down towards the foot bar, bring it back up. One rope goes slack, lots of connection through the glute on the other leg to push down. So you can reach underneath yourself and feel that you get that glute connection going to press down. Good. Just one more each side. And last one, and then bring the legs back in. You can take the straps off. You can keep the straps in your hands, roll to your side and come up to sitting. And we'll switch to one red spring. And if you need a little more, a little less, you can always add that. So scooch a little bit forward, and then you're gonna hold up onto the rope. So scooch forward enough that there's a lot of space behind you. You're, it might feel like the back of your leg actually touches the shoulder rest. So just rolling back a little bit, see if you can find the edge of the carriage. And then if you need to scoot your butt further towards the shoulder rest, then do. And then roll back up. And you might not be able to sit all the way up once you're scooched in really close to the shoulder rest, that's okay. Rolling back and just finding that articulation through the spine. If you'd like, you can lift the legs up to tabletop and hold them in tabletop-ish. It's kind of like a teaser here. So they have to move a little bit to be able to get around them and roll down. Should feel like the ropes are helping you that they're not really heavy or really light. If your legs are in the air, try not to drop and pick up the legs. The legs would stay in the air the whole time. You don't get to drop them down to sit up. Yeah. And then as you start to come up, try not to push up to the ceiling. The rope is going towards the pulley. Your hand is going towards the pulley. Yeah. If you need more tension, just grab a little higher on the rope. Straighten your arms, Anita, and let the arms help you more. Yeah. And you might need to hold up on the ropes a little higher. And then once you're down on the next one, stay there. Do a couple bicep curls, maybe two. And then roll up, roll down, bicep curl twice. And roll up, roll down, bicep curl. If the roll up and the roll down isn't working, just Stay, you can always put your feet back down. Yeah, nice, good carry. And 
One last time of whatever you're doing. And then finish sitting. You can swing your legs out from underneath you and put the straps back on the shoulder rest for now. And switch to, let's do a half spring to start and see where we get. So then on your forearm, of course, you can lay down on your side if you'd like instead, but on your forearm propped up with the top foot in the strap. Press the leg out on the diagonal. Round your back today as your leg comes forward in front of you and stretch your back out long as it presses back towards the foot bar. So literally allow your spine to round like you're trying to bring your forehead and your knee to each other. And then as you press your leg back, look over the bottom shoulder like you're trying to find your foot behind you. Round, uh-huh, nice. Keep your legs straight. So the leg is going straight forward. You're rounding your spine. Your leg is pressing back and you're looking over the bottom shoulder. You won't be able to see your foot because the rope will hit you before you could actually get your leg far enough behind you. But you're just finding that oppositional spiral. Round the spine, press back. Straps should feel pretty light. If you're not on a stot reformer, just pick one that's not very heavy. Round the spine, lengthen and look over the shoulder. Round the spine, lengthen one more time like that. Rounding the spine and lengthen. And then keep the leg reaching out towards the corner of the foot bar, flex your foot and just do a little lift and lower. Lift and lower, the carriage isn't really moving. Reaching through the heel, arcing through the outer hip. Four, three, two, and one, and then four circles. Four, still reaching towards the corner of the foot bar. Three, two, one, reverse. Four, three, two, and one, bend that leg back in, take the strap off. And you're gonna keep that same strap, but we're gonna sit, um, sorry, kneel all the way up. Be careful as you come to kneeling that you're balanced. Hold on to the strap and rotate the torso and return. You guys know this exercise. So as you continue, you're trying to keep the pelvis still. If you're more comfortable sitting cross-legged, you're welcome to sit cross-legged. You wanna make sure you have your balance if you're coming up to the kneeling positions. As you rotate, you're getting taller. You're trying to think of lifting yourself up and around. Three more here, up and around and up and around. One more time. And then taking the strap in the outside hand closer to the foot bar and pressing your arm up towards shoulder height. Doesn't have to go all the way. Go as far as you can, the arm stays straight. We're not doing a million. Pressing out and lowering down and pressing out and lowering down. You've got two more. Feel that glide of your shoulder blade on the back. It's rotating as your arm goes up to allow the arm to lift. Yeah, good. And then you're gonna kneel still with that same strap. Scooch a little bit towards the side of the reformer the strap is coming from and put your hands on the headrest the other foot is going to go into the strap. So the one closer to the side. The hand on that same side can either be on the shoulder rest or it can be on the carriage. You decide. You're definitely not in the middle of the reformer. You're off to the side. Press your leg out. Connect your abdominals. Sweep your leg down towards the floor and then press your leg back. Start to take this into an oval shape. So you're going a little bit more out to the side and around. It's a lot of oblique abdominal as the leg kind of loops to the side. Carrie, put at least one hand um, down on the carriage because I don't want your upper body to be so much higher than your pelvis. Yeah. 
some people like the hand on the same side as the rope on the headrest because then it doesn't get touched by the rope as it goes around. Depends on how it feels to you. Spine neutral spine. Keep tension in the rope the whole time. Slow down your circle a little there, Ginge. And think more about the part where your leg gets towards horizontal, everyone. So the leg goes towards horizontal, then out to the side, towards horizontal. Yeah. Awesome, everyone. Hopefully you reversed. Did I say that? And about four more. You should feel a lot in that standing hip. And last one, bend your leg and keep the strap on there and just crawl your knees forward. Don't forget the straps on there and just do a little shell stretch. It's not a heavy spring. My carriage isn't all the way against the stopper. That should feel okay. And then you're gonna come back onto your hands and knees like you were, push the leg back out behind you again. And you're gonna press the leg out, bending and straightening it. Your leg has to be kind of out to the side so the rope isn't rubbing on you. But if it bothers you where the rope is touching your arm, then put that same hand up onto the shoulder rest. Honestly, a little harder with that one hand on the shoulder rest because you have to be a little more uh, aware of trying to stay level. Four more. Four, three, straighten the leg all the way. Two, and last one. And bring the leg back in. Take the strap off of that foot, put it back on the shoulder rest find the center and um, you're gonna uh, stand up to the same side you were just working from. So that same leg, stand on the side, just it's super light, it's only a half spring. Your thigh stretch here doesn't feel like anything. We're gonna add the straps, but what I want you to feel is this position of the legs. As you come in, you're trying to bring your upper body towards your foot. As you lower down, you're trying to lengthen your back back out. So then bring the carriage in, grab the strap with the hand that's uh, the same as the leg that's on the carriage, push the carriage out, should feel super light. If you need to back up more than usual, feel free to do that. Slide the other hand in the loop of the strap so they're stacked on top of each other. You kind of sink down a little and then arc and lift up and let yourself sink down a little and then find an arc to lift yourself up. So if that feels good, keep it. If you wanna add another quarter spring, you're welcome to. I just want you to feel how your shoulders are impacted before you decide to make it heavier. So it shouldn't feel like your arms are doing a lot. It's more about that standing hip and the legs pushing you up and down. Take your eyes towards the floor and then you take them all the way up to the ceiling, making a big half moon shape. Yeah, beautiful. Do less from the arms and more from that standing hip pushing you up. One last time, pushing you up. And then take the strap, carefully return the strap. Make sure you don't do weird shoulder things. And switch to one and a half springs. Red and a blue. Once you have those springs on, stand up on your carriage like elephant. So I've been working the leg that's closer to the camera. I'm still gonna be using that leg that's closer to the camera. So you're gonna bring your heels up against the shoulder rests for your elephant round back position. Just try a couple with both legs down, rounding your back up to the ceiling, rounding, rounding. Yeah, it's a lighter than we do sometimes. So just kind of getting things moving. See if you can get your sternum to soften up towards the ceiling so you're a little more round. Mm -hmm. Good. Nice, Anita. 
And then the same leg, the one that you've been uh, having closer, the same side as the strap we use is gonna uh, start down by the shoulder rest. So you're gonna push the carriage out. As the carriage comes in, you're gonna lift the leg in the air. So lower and lift the leg. As you do this a few times, trying to feel like you're driving the movement from that standing hip. The pelvis is as level as possible. You're trying to lift the leg as high as you can, but not so high that you straighten your back. You gotta stay in that round back shape. As you lower, you can flex your foot and bring your leg further forward of your standing leg, if you like. So the leg comes towards the carriage or towards the springs even. Swing it up way forward with that foot. If you don't flex it, you won't have room to get it under you. One more time. And then set that foot down, come down and turn around to face the, other, the back of the reformer, bring the headrest up. The leg that's closer to the camera, still same side, we're, it's, we're switching legs, but it's the same side of the carriage we're working from. So you're gonna stand up on the carriage holding the shoulder rest. Remembering that the shoulder rest can pull up and out. Never stand up on the reformer unless you're holding on something. Put the foot that's further from the camera into the crease of the headrest. Find your balance on that one leg. Should feel like you can look at the foot bar, you're balanced, no problem. That's your emergency exit strategy. So don't skip it and just put your foot on the foot bar. Find your balance and prove to me you can balance and see the foot bar. Once you've got that going on, you're welcome to reach your foot back, place your foot. It shouldn't be a panic situation because you're in control. Push the hips down into your lunge, take a little weight out of your hands and bend and straighten that front leg. If you have an emergency, the carriage comes all the way back in and you lift your foot, find your balance on the front leg. If you're slippery, Feel free to take your socks off or to add grippy mats or pieces of flex band work really well to stick you to stuff. That drawer liner stuff works. Bend and straighten. Start to take a little weight out of your hands so you're balanced more. Push and pull and push and pull. In terms of flexibility, your back leg needs to be straight. So like Ginge, I would come off the reformer and put your foot bar down one notch and see if that helps you. It'll be further back that you have to reach to find it. So make sure you're balanced before you reach back. And then you guys can come all the way back in set your knees down or come off to the side carefully. And then we're going to uh, switch to the turn around to face the foot bar again. So back to your weight bearing position, toes tucked under at the shoulder rest, elephant round back position, push the carriage out a little bit, staying in your round back position. The same leg that's closer to the camera, you're gonna lift it up and bend it in to your chest. Then you're gonna bend the other leg and reach that one out. So opposition, push, pull. If you wanna do knee stretches instead, you can. Try to stay as round as you can. Push, pull, four. Bend your standing leg, Grace, it'll help. Bend your standing leg as the one in the air straightens, the other one's bending. Still not bending there. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is definitely building on our knee stretches. So it's like a single leg knee stretch. And then set your knees down a second. As you do this, you're trying to not make it so that, how is that happening? That your butt is going up and down somehow. Your body shouldn't be moving. So your body is still and just the legs are moving underneath you. 
try one more set. Bend your knees, high half toe position. Get your butt down. There. Push, pull, push, pull, good. And then setting your knees back down, setting the uh, foot that's closer to the camera onto the foot bar. Push the carriage out, open the back of the leg as much as it feels good to you. Of course, you can do single thigh stretch standing on the floor. Instead, open the back of the leg and come back in one more time, opening that back hip, stretching the hamstring open, stretching the front of the back hip open. And then we're gonna do this one more time. I'm gonna push the carriage out. If you feel comfortable, you could take your hands down to the rails. Obviously you have to feel comfortable with that. You'd have to control the carriage. Yeah, maybe you touch the rail with one hand and then with the other, and then you come back in. Awesome. So then we're gonna switch back to our half spring. And we're going to put the headrest down. You're gonna be facing uh, the other side. So not the side the camera's on. Push the elbow down into the shoulder rest. Put your top foot in the loop. Press your leg out on the diagonal towards the foot bar. Start by rounding your spine to bring the leg forward and then extending the leg back, looking over your bottom shoulder. <coughs> Rounding the spine to bring the leg and head towards each other and lengthening, looking over that bottom shoulder. Rounding and lengthening, good. Keep going. Rounding, yeah, let the spine flex from the middle. So you're not just thinking of you're bringing your head towards your leg. Yes, your head and leg are coming towards each other, but you're trying to think of like your stomach is going back, like you're getting punched in the stomach. Nice. Awesome, Grace. Look over the bottom shoulder towards the leg. Look towards the bottom shoulder, towards your foot behind you. Yeah, kind of gets you going in this kind of spiral way, which is nice. Good, one last time. Press the leg towards the corner of the foot bar, flex your foot and just a little lift and lower from the outer hip, trying to feel that like kind of carving out of the back of the hip. Carriage is more or less still. Reaching through the heel. And then we take it into four circles about the size of a basketball, reaching around the foot bar. If the rope is hitting your bottom leg a lot, it means your leg is probably dropping too low. Four in each direction. And then you can bend your leg in and take your foot out of the strap. And we're gonna come up to kneeling facing the side. Be careful as you come up to kneeling, hold on to the loop and go into your rotation of your upper body. If you need a little more tension or a little shorter rope, just move towards the foot bar. If you need less tension, move towards the pulleys. Lifting yourself up and around. Yeah, exactly. As you lift up and around, feel like you're getting taller. Initiating with the, uh, the torso versus the arms. Two more. And then keep the strap in the outside hand, the one closer to the foot bar. Press your arm out to the side. Feel that shoulder rotating on the back gliding through the back of the shoulder. Four more. Doesn't have to be full range, go as far as it feels good to you. Last one. 
and then turning towards the pulleys back of the reformer, scooch a little bit to the side, put the leg closer to the side in the strap and reach your leg out towards the foot bar. Then let your leg go down a little bit and then press it back behind you. Down a little, press it back behind you. Then start to add that looping feeling of yourself going away from the midline slightly out to the side to add a little bit more core engagement. Shouldn't feel like you have to shift a lot to do that. Nice and smooth, keep tension on the rope the whole time. Reverse, nice and smooth. And last one, and then you can bend your leg in, sit into a little shell stretch, however it feels good to you. Take a breath. And then we're gonna do the bend and stretch version. So you come back to the quadruped, push the leg out and bend it back in. Deep crease in the front of the hip, gliding through the leg, keeping tension on the rope the whole time. If you wanna add the movement of the ankle, feel free. Nice. Lengthen through your spine. One last time. And then you can carefully take the strap off, bring the carriage back in, stand off to the side. Like your single thigh stretch, put your foot against the shoulder rest, the strap on the inside hand. Bring it forward so there's no tension in the arm. Then loop the other hand in the strap and let yourself come up and glide back down. You know you need a little more tension, just make sure you get in and out of the strap carefully, thinking of your shoulders. So it shouldn't really feel like your shoulders are doing a lot other than just holding your hands above your head. And you're trying to arc, send the sternum and a heart forward and then your legs pull you back down and your upper body arcs you into that half moon shape and you pull it back down. Twice more. Arcing up and around and big lunge and arcing up and around and big lunge. Push the carriage out to bring the carriage back in with that inside arm safely. Switch to one and a half springs. Red and a blue, hands on the foot bar. And you're gonna come up to your elephant round back position. So scooping through the abdominals, just push the carriage out and in a couple times. And then you can float the leg that's further from the camera behind the shoulder rest or behind the headrest and lift and lower it. So as you bring the carriage in, you round your back and lift the leg. Round your back and lift the leg. If you added that flexing of the foot to swing the leg further forward, then do it on this side as well. and try to smooth out the return of the carriage. If you let your body shift too far forward, it'll feel like you keep banging into the stopper. Two more. And then you can set your knees down and turn around to face the other direction and putting the headrest up. If you need to put your foot bar down a little bit, you can. Make sure you're holding on to the shoulder rest before you stand up. And then it'll be the foot that's further 
from the camera that goes onto the bar. You find your balance first. I've seen lots of weird slips here. So keep remembering your escape strategy. Find the foot bar, find your lunge, and then push out and pull in. Ginge, I think the foot bar would need to be down one notch like we did talked about on the other side. Push and pull. If your back leg isn't straight, it makes me worried about your knee. So don't bend it. Anita, that's good. Just you got to get a lot lower. Like you're, um, you're up here. Lunge down first. If it's too heavy, you can lighten it, but push the care, lower your pelvis more. Yeah, maybe that's the problem. Yeah, and then Grace, try not to let your hips go up and down. They're low enough to start. Now just try to straighten the front knee and bend it. Nice, Anne. That's better, Anita. Keep the back knee straight and then you're golden. There we go. Ginge, I think the next time we do this, try it with the foot bar down or workshop that on your own. And then everybody's gonna come all the way back in and bring your foot back down to the carriage, come down. I can't reach it if it's down. Uh-huh, you can just adjust the stopper and the gear bar. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Um, so then um, we, sorry, I lost my train of thought there. Oh yes, you can take and put your hands back on the foot bar round your back up towards the ceiling, lower your knees down into that bent position, lift the knee, push out, reach back. One leg is bending and the other leg is straightening. Bend, straighten. Yeah, get your hips down everybody. Try to keep your shoulders still in space. And last one, and then set your feet down, set your knees down, take a two second break. I'm gonna do one more set. I think that, that was much better than the first set. I think when you start, you can't be up like this. So you've gotta get your knees down like your uh, knee stretches position and then lift your foot. And that's a really hard start position, but you can do it. Push and pull, of course, you want to do knee stretches instead or knee stretches with the knees touching the carriage. You could do that as well. And last moment here. And when you're done with that, you can set the knees down and then bring your foot up onto the bar and go into your thigh stretch a couple times, opening the back of the leg. Open the back of the leg. Yeah, nice. And on your last one, if you wanna just touch one hand to this, the rail and then bring it back to the foot bar, you could do that. Or you could bring your hands down to the rail. Obviously you have to be a certain amount of flexible to get your hands down there. So just if you want to push out further than your arm length allows. Good. And then bringing it all the way back in. Awesome. So then we're going to put the two outside springs on so that the springs on the outside are on, but the inside ones are off. And you're going to put your foot bar down to the almost the bottom one, the second from the bottom. Yeah, we're gonna do a version of semicircle. Um, so put your feet on the foot bar and lay down on your back. And if this doesn't work for you, you're welcome to do something instead, but I think you'll be fine. Bring your hands to the shoulder rests and then you're gonna shove your body 
all the way out over the foot bar until your arms are straight. I hardly ever use the word locked, but here's where I would say lock your arms. So your arms have to be all the way straight so that the edge of the carriage would hit you on the thoracic spine, like where the bra strap is, not in the lower back. Straighten your arms all the way. Anita, you might still need to go a little lighter. If it feels like it's too heavy, generally that's because you're not using your butt enough. So lock your arms, push the carriage out, and just push the legs out and bring them back in a couple of times. Lift your hips up nice and high. If you can't push the carriage out or you can't straighten your arms, don't pass go. So if your arms aren't straight, you don't get to keep going. Stretch the elbows all the way straight. Push out, come back in. If you want to do hip rolls instead, you're welcome to. If you'd like to add to this, you push out, roll down through the upper back, let the pelvis drop between the springs so you're in extension. Pull the carriage back in. That's right, Carrie. Keep the butt down as you pull the carriage back in. The butt's touching the springs. And then round the pelvis under and roll your hips back up. Press out. Roll down through the upper back, the middle back, the low back. Get your butt down between the springs. Bend your knees. Come all the way back in. Round the pelvis under and roll your hips up. Yeah, do that again. Push out. Good. Knees are apart. Knees are away from each other. You're in that kind of diamond shape with your legs. Yeah. And then you'd roll down. Uh-huh. Good. Last time. Nice, Grace. Awesome, Anne. And then come all the way back in, grab the shoulder rest. If you have a tank top, it's harder to get back on the carriage, but long sleeves, you probably can slither on easier. Good, hug your legs into your chest. Just give them a little squeeze. And then we're gonna put the uh, platform over the springs, but let's switch to one and a half first. And then bring the foot bar up a little bit higher so it's not all the way up, but it's close. Yeah, second from the top. Okay, so put your hands on the foot bar and then step up onto that platform. Get your hips quite low so you can touch the foot bar. If you're not very flexible and you have a cardio trampoline or a um, jump board, you could use that instead of the foot bar. Yeah. Okay, so one foot is gonna go all the way back against the shoulder rest. It's a big stretch back there, it's pretty far away. We're working on our front splits. So your leg is bent, you're in a lunge. To start, let's just bend and straighten the back leg. It's not a huge range of motion, shouldn't feel super heavy. Start to take a little bit of weight out of your hands. I want you to feel safe. So be mindful of how much help you need from your hands. Push, pull. And then push the back leg out to straight and see if you can straighten the front leg a little bit. You probably won't be able to go very far just because your arm length will limit you. Eventually we'll make this bigger. So try not to go down and up with your pelvis, Grace. Just straighten the front leg, bend the front leg. So the pelvis, the height of the pelvis stays the same. And you stop your knee when it's over your ankle. You're not trying to go really far into a knee flexion. Yeah. Back leg is straight. You're trying to straighten and bend the front leg. Maybe you're moving two inches or so. Try not to sink down into it. So many of you are sinking down to push out and then lifting the hips to come in. That's using your flexibility instead of your strength. That's good, Carrie. And then bring the carriage all the way back in. Step that foot forward. Reach the other foot back. Sink, uh, well, not sink. Lower yourself into your lunge and then hold that lunge position as you bend and straighten the back leg. Not a huge range of motion. Push, 
pull. Yeah, nice. And then keep the back leg straight, bend and straighten the front leg. A couple inches, you run out of arm length before you probably run out of flexibility. Try not to sink down into it as you push out. Your pelvis should stay horizontally about the same height off the ground. I needed to pull the carriage back in, bend your front knee. Don't lift your hips. Now straighten your front knee to push it out. Bend it to come back in. That's right. Keep the back leg straight, everybody. Back leg is bending. Don't let it bend. I need a back leg straight. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Last two. Last one. Come all the way back in. Bring your foot down on the bar. Roll up to standing. Take a breath at the top. Nod your chin, roll back down, touch the foot bar with your fingertips, drop your hips down and find a squat position. So long line through the spine. So hopefully you can touch the bar and be in a squat without having to kind of lean into it that your torso can be up pretty high. You're safe, so if you need to come up higher then you can touch, I'm okay with that. Then lower and lift yourself a little or just stay and hold. You can take the arms off if you like. A couple times down, up. Make sure you're not rounding. Long spine. Um, Ginge, drop your hips back. You're too much in your quads. Yeah, yeah. So you got to get your hips to go back or else it just turns into the torso flexing forward. And then drop the hands to the bar, hold on to the bar, try to straighten your legs a little and drop your head. Bend your knees, straighten your legs as much as you can comfortably. And twice more, bend your knees, push into the bar, feel like your head is going through your knees as you round your spine and lengthen the hamstrings. And twice more, round the spine, lengthen the hamstrings. And last one, around the spine, lengthen the hamstrings. Don't step both foot feet off at the same time. Put one knee down maybe, and then step off to the side. Switch back to your two red springs. Laying on your back with your feet in the straps. Once you get your feet in the straps, Big, luxurious leg circles. Biggest range you can do using all of the mobility that you just worked on. Rotate your legs turned out, you'll have a bigger range of motion. Think of creasing through the front of the hips. Big circle around. You can allow the pelvis to lift a little as long as you can smoothly lower it back down. Roll up a little. Thrust down and around. Some people that won't feel good too, so don't feel like you have to add that. Reverse the direction of your circles. Big, luxurious, full range. Opening up the back of your leggings. Um, then you can bring your legs in front of you, grab a hold of the straps and take your knees wide and bend your knees like happy baby. Let that rock a little side to side. Take a couple breaths here. And then when you're ready, you can take the straps off your feet, hug your legs into your chest maybe, or just roll to your side and come off of there. Good job, awesome work. Thank you guys so much for coming.